do indeed, Byron. We've come to the den on this very cold morning, and look, Ribbon is with her little youngster, and they've been having a little nap, it looks like. Now, I don't know where the other one is. It's just the one that I can see at the moment. Maybe the other one has decided this is far too cold and ridiculous to be outside, and has had a good feed and then run back into the mound to go and have a good rest inside the mound. Now, please don't go, Ribbon. We just got you. Ribbon has had a good meal. Oh, she's limping a little bit as well, which is interesting. She's definitely had a good meal because the smell coming off her is smelling like rotten flesh. It does not smell good at all. Now, I hope she's not going to go far. Oh, there's the other little youngster. Hello. Good morning. I think they're also wondering, where is Ribbon going? So, Mom, come back. I wasn't finished playing and suckling. But the, the smell of rotten meat is quite pungent here this morning so I think Ruben definitely had a good meal her belly looks quite full as well and she's got a little swollen tummy as well so she's definitely had a, something to eat now I know a lot of you have been asking us to come check on the den the last few days and yesterday morning I said I would do it and I didn't get around to it unfortunately with the lions and the jackals but we've come today and they are looking so big already it seems like they've grown since I last saw them last time I saw them was about a week ago and they already look a lot larger. The spots seem to be coming out. Still as curious as ever though. Look at them peeking around the bush, busy smelling us. And they know that when mom wanders off a little bit, that they are being naughty by being out the den. And so that's why they're going back towards where the den is. And the den is just around that corner. Now I'm hoping Ribbon hasn't gone far and that she does come back again. So that we can get and spend some time here with these little ones. They're such entertaining characters. Hello. See them peeking around the bush. There it goes. So they are very curious. John, I agree. They are. They're growing at a rate of knots at the moment. They're getting very, very large very quickly. Now, I think they've run off to the den because they know that ribbon is gone and that it's not safe to be outside of the den, so they've gone a little bit closer. So I'm just going to try and pull round and just see if I can see where Ribbon's gone. Because if Ribbon has left, then generally we don't spend too much time at the den. We don't like to be here with just the little ones and no sign of mom. Because ultimately it can be a little bit dangerous if, let's say, a leopard or lion see our vehicle and come and investigate what's going on. could potentially cause a problem for the little ones. So we tend not to try and view them when they're so small. Ah, so a lot of you are wondering if this carcass smell could be, maybe they fed off that injured zebra. Well, that very well could be because there has been no sign of that zebra that I've seen in the last little bit. So the last few days there's been very little sign of that zebra. Um, so maybe it died somewhere where we haven't been able to see. And because we've had very cold overcast conditions, there won't be too many vultures around either. They won't uh, be in the sky, and so it'll be difficult for us to find it. But that's very, very possible. And maybe if it's not the injured zebra we had on quarantine, it could be the injured zebra that was around Arethusa. There was that one that James had yesterday, so maybe one of those. But we'll definitely look around and see where all the hyena tracks are going. But I know, as far as I know, nobody's found any sign of that particular carcass. Um, Craig, I think I'm going to reposition a little bit because where we are is not the best side. On the other side is actually better. So while we try and get ourselves a better look here and see where Ribbon's gone, let's go 